Welcome back guys to another Tesla video. So right now, Tesla has begun rolling out its FSD, which is the full self-driving beta for some of the customers in the United States. Now, if you guys have a Model 3, Model S, and you haven't received the update, don't freak out, you will get it eventually. Right now, Tesla is only giving these brand new updates for some of the customers to let them test it out. And of course, Tesla said you could definitely show off to the world of what it is like, and it's really, really exciting. So if you guys haven't noticed, and if you go on the Tesla website right this second, and you click on like a Model S or Model 3, the vehicles are pretty expensive by itself, but you could also opt in to get the $10,000 software, which is the full self-driving software. Now, this was upped from $8,000, so it was a $2,000 increase. It's pretty pricey and not a lot of people can afford it. I would love to get a Tesla, but the autopilot costing $10,000 is kind of too pricey for me. But after reading a lot of articles, after going through a bunch of different videos, I actually seem to like it even more. Like I feel like $10,000, though it's very expensive, it's probably well worth it for a lot of consumers. So this release has wowed a lot of Tesla fans with brand new automatic route navigation capabilities. You could exit highways, you could recognize stoplights, the cars in front of them, people on the side and stuff like that. So it's doing pretty good. Now, Elon Musk has also said multiple times, if you guys got the limited FSD beta version, please drive with extreme caution. And it's already a lot of concerns. It's raising a lot of eyebrows. You know, things are getting kind of iffy. You get the idea, like if an autopilot Tesla crashes, it makes it to like the news big time. And so far, things are looking pretty good with Tesla. And if you check out this Twitter video by Tesla owners online, it's actually pretty impressive. And they were so impressed by it that they're saying that Tesla has officially broken into the level three autonomy now with this brand new FSD beta. Now, Tesla currently has an autonomy level of two, and this guy is saying it's level three, which if you look in the video, you could kind of see why. Like he's doing a pretty good job and the car stops, it sees the stoplights, it also sees the vehicle in front of them, and once that vehicle actually starts turning and leaving, the Tesla vehicle actually follows, recognizes the green lights, and creates a nice perfect turn. Everything is fine, and the speed limit's correct, and you could clearly see on the dashboard, there's a lot of things going on with this autonomous driving. So it's actually really cool. The guy's hands aren't on the wheel, but you have to be alert about your surroundings. And this is pretty awesome. And the NHTSA and the autonomous vehicle industry have largely adopted six levels of autonomy, going from zero, no automation, to five, which is total automation. Once again, Tesla operates at level two really well. But after looking at this video, I gotta agree with Tesla owners online that it's somewhat in the level three now. It's pretty impressive. And what's even cooler, is I watched some of the videos where the Teslas are actually driving in the city and also in tiny roads. Obviously, it's not perfect, but Tesla is improving it every few days. There's a few scary videos out there, but the scariest video I saw was a white Tesla almost crashing into a red car that was right in front of it that's fully parked because the roads are like really weird and Tesla thought like that lane right there was a specific road so it just started going straight almost hitting the parked car the person driving had a break but other than that after looking through like a bunch of autonomous videos things are looking really good for Tesla I'm really impressed about what Elon Musk is doing here and I love the overall FSD beta now sure it's ten thousand dollars you could also say that it's way too expensive but if you're one of those people who really love like cool innovative tech, this is something that you should definitely know. Let's say you have a Tesla Model 3 and you're in New York City. You want to get from point A to point B. It's gonna take a very long time. It's very tiring. If you guys have ever drove to work, it's not really a fun experience, especially if you're in LA traffic and you're waiting like two hours just to get from like work to home. It's really nice to have autopilot. Obviously with a Tesla Model 3, you have to be extremely aware it's still very, very new, and a few people out there have experienced some scary incidences. So yeah, definitely just you know keep your alert on just to make sure that nothing scary ever happens. 
and nothing is since Tesla is rolling out this full self-driving beta software. There's also some pretty cool UI stuff that got updated as well, which pretty much just makes the overall car software look better. If you look at this guy on Twitter called Tesla Raj, you clearly see Tesla put like a brand new Model 3, Model S, your vehicle on the front panel. It's a lot higher resolution. You could prop open the trunk, etc. And it's just pretty cool. I mean, I'm not really sure why Tesla did it, but it's really nice for visualizations. And it's just like a nice, cool software update just to make your vehicle look more HD and better. On top of that, Tesla Raj also posted a video congratulating Elon Musk and the Tesla team. Like so far, this full self-driving software is honestly very impressive. Like the overall software is better than anything else I've ever seen. You don't see other car companies doing this. Mercedes, BMW, Lexus, Nissan, Audi, none of those guys are doing this. Tesla is the only one doing this. Elon Musk has promised numerous times over the months that the full self-driving beta will be coming out, which it did, and also the RoboTaxi network should be out late 2020. Now, there's still months of November and December, a total of roughly 60 days. Let's see if Elon Musk could keep his promise and launch some sort of a RoboTaxi network. Now, obviously, Elon may be able to launch it, but regulatory approvals and appealing to the government in different cities will take a lot of convincing. So RoboTaxi network may actually come out this year, but regulatory approvals is going to take a very long time and we could be seeing it on the road maybe late 2021, which is kind of a major bummer. Now, keep in mind, Musk said this, we measure this primarily in intervention probability. This update addressed several issues, including in perhaps a third fewer interventions. Many of the improvements consist of fixing silly bugs and stuff like that. True for most beta releases in my experience. That's what Musk said. Now, keep in mind, if you do have this limited FSD beta, it's pretty nice because improvements will be rolled out every five to 10 days. Tesla will be collecting miles. The overall software will try to learn itself. So far, Tesla is working day and night since some customers right now are already using the software on the street. They will be rolling out improvements once again, pretty much once every week or two weeks just to refresh the software even more. And the more people use the self-driving beta software, the better it gets. I could pretty much see in the next month or two, it could be really, really good. What Elon Musk wants to achieve with the FSD is simply have an accident count lower than the human. That's all you need to do. And so far, can you imagine every car in the road has full self-driving? That's pretty awesome. And on top of that, this is a big step to the grand scheme of things, which is the end game, the robo taxi. Essentially, you could buy a Tesla Model 3, which is a vehicle that has a very, very slow depreciation rate. Instead of driving to work and parking it there, you could tell your car to go out and pick up other passengers without a driver in it. Musk said you could make about $30,000 per year. Some people say ten dollars to $20,000 a year, but nevertheless, it's kind of like buying a house and that house goes out and gets a bunch of airbnb clients that is pretty awesome and tesla is trying to brand itself as an autopilot a robotic and also a ride hailing company which is very impressive thanks for watching guys and definitely comment below